YouTube friends and welcome to my video tutorial. Uh, what I'm showing you guys today is that one of my subscribers here, not subscribers, but somebody here on YouTube asks me, says a comment on my video they post, it says, Hello 360 Creation, I've been watching your videos and they are great. How can I make a diff tag have shadow and rounded corners without using an image? Is there a way to do this with CSS? Thanks. Well, that's what I'll be showing you guys how to do today, and I have one up here where I can just, uh, as you can see, we got a nice little shadow dropping down the sides and the bottom here, and the corner of my divs are rounded. I made one corner rounded more so you guys can see, but um, that's what we'll be creating today. So I created a file called demo.html, and I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So. Inside my body tag, I'm gonna hit enter return a couple times. I'm just gonna create a div call. Say div ID, and I'm gonna call this one demo. And I'm gonna shut that bad boy off. Now inside my head tag, I below my title tag, hit enter return a couple times. I'm gonna put in the area for my CSS. All right, I'm gonna go back and type style, and we're gonna type type. It's gonna be text.css. Inside that, we're just going to shut, drop down a couple of times. Now, this is where we're going to style out our div tag. So, first of all, we want to put a number sign. We want to type in demo. Oops. <laughs> we want to type in demo. A curly bracket to open it. So, enter once, and we're going to put a width on this first. So, w. so let's do a width, and we're going to set this to 400 pixels. We're going to do a height, and we're going to set this one to 600 pixels. Then we're going to set a background on this, and we're going to do background color, and we're just going to set the same color I had, just a dark red. Okay, so now let's get coding. Uh, the first part I'm going to put in for this code, <coughs> sorry guys, <coughs> is my shadow. So my shadow, I'm going to do, I'm going to use the mods function. The reason I use mods is because it's more compatible across different browsers. So Mars box dash shadow and I'm gonna set this shadow to mm, ten pixels. So I'm gonna do a space ten pixels and I'm gonna do five pixels and I'm gonna shut that bad boy off. I'm gonna do dash I'm gonna do a web kit on this. So WebKit, and again, this is just compatibility for browsers because they could, you, this could be done a lot easier. But you know, when you, as with designers, we have to design for cr across all browsers. So that's why I'm doing this. And then we have to do a box shadow, and I think this one is for Internet Explorer. I'm not even sure if, yeah, it's just, it's kind of stupid sometimes what we have to do, but yeah until they make a good browser meaning Internet Explorer then we can quit doing crap like this okay so the next one we're gonna do is uh, this is right now for the shadow that's gonna go around it and I'll just type it out and go back and explain a little bit for beginners who can't really hang with us that fast, so I'm just gonna do a moz, do a border, and on borders you have to do a radius, a radius, and I'm gonna set my radius on this to uh, ten pixels, ten pixels, ten pixels, and ten. Pixels. I just want them to be even. Close that off, and I'm gonna copy this, and I have to type it out again down there. <laughs> and we're gonna do a border radius on this now. Whoops, not like you. Border dash r a d i u s radius, and we're gonna close this space and paste that code in. So now we're gonna hit enter backspace, and I'm gonna close off my tag. So that's my PHP tags for the box I just created. What I want to show you guys now 
we specify a mods box shadow of 10 pixels 10 pixels so it's going to be 10 pixels top 10 pixels right and it's kind of this is kind of like a slight little faded out end that you see on that the borders uh, i'll show it to you when i get to the browser webkit border again with the specify this because these are going across browsers like internet explorer firefox mozilla you know op opera and for those of you who still use internet explorer for some reason uh it will be compatible with internet explorer and, and i'm not 100 percent sure because internet explorer really really sucks guys people should start boycotting that browser but anyway and we do the mass border radius and we do a rate the border so each edge will have a 10 degree radius on it so 10 pixel radius so that's what we did so i'm going to save this file and then i'm going to go to my document Ooh, that's not what i had it in that's the one i want sorry come on sometime today that would be great I'm inside my folder and this is a demo. I didn't preview it in Dreamweaver because I didn't set up uh my know my uh it's gonna act stupid, it's been acting stupid with me. So I'm I go to the demo page directly here and it should open there we go. It opens and as you can see it has rounded corners but no shadow. Uh give me one second, let me take a look at Hello, welcome guys. I realized what I didn't do. Uh, at the end of your five pixels, put a space, number sign, and the color you want. That's that's what I missed. So there is no color to show the background, the the, the shadow, and that's why it wasn't showing the shadow. So this should work. Uh, um, go to my browser. It should auto update for me here. There we go. Now we have our shadow going around our image. So now we have a rounded corners and we have a shadow. So that's how you put rounded corners and shadows in a div tag without using an image so for my friend here who asked me how to do it this is how you do it so thanks for watching hope this helps if you guys have any questions if you guys want to see more tutorials and uh, uh I, t yeah, I told you i was going to show you what that five pixel does if you can see here it says 10 pixels and right out here is where it's uh it's kind of light and five pixels also drop it down from the top just a little bit so that's what that five pixels do, does. I uh, hope this helps, and I'll see you guys again. If you need more tutorials in CSS, please send me a message. Thanks for watching. Bye.